So what I thought, I grabbed uh, some stuff, and the third thing that I was going to make is pina colada cheesecake. <laughs> Got to be good, right? Pina colada cheesecake. Uh, or we can make, yeah, let's do that. Let's, and so now we'll make what, what I thought of a name for it. We'll call it toasted pineapple ice cream. Uh, we're not going to actually toast it. We're going to fake everybody out. Toasted pineapple ice cream, uh, because I grabbed, as I was running out last night, a bag of brown sugar. So that'll be our toasty part of toasted, uh, what are we doing? Toasted pineapple. Toasted pineapple. Uh, okay? It'll be good. I mean, it, it, of course it'll be good. So what we'll do now, by the way, sometimes you have to rinse the machine out between flavors. Now, Steve and I disagree on this, but remember who makes ice cream. It's not the color. That's not true, right? We talked about that. It's not whether you go, you can, I go all the time from chocolate to vanilla or chocolate to pina colada or whatever, because what I'm concerned with is ingredients. I don't want to make bananas foster ice cream, which we do, and have bananas going into the next flavor. Rum raisin, I don't want raisins going into my mint chocolate chip. So I'll lay it out. I, the color doesn't matter to me. If I go from chocolate, plain chocolate, to mint chocolate chip, not going to hurt anything. Because the amount of chocolate that's left in the machine is is so small that you don't have to worry about it. So color is not what's important, it's ingredients. An errant chocolate chip is fine. I'm okay with a chocolate chip finding its way somewhere, uh, which they will. But I don't want a raisin finding its way somewhere. You know, uh, uh, and this happened, in our, everything happens in your store when you open up. But somebody brought a raisin up to the girls and said there's a bug in our ice cream. You know, try to tell them it's not a bug. So what did I do? I went like this. And I said, it's a raisin. But we gave them a free ice cream and they're fine. It's always a free ice cream. And don't think that's not a motivating factor for some people, you know? There's a uh, bug here, uh, free ice cream. So we'll start with, in my machine, my machine is a 24, this is a 12. It's the same size from where you're sitting, same size machine. The only difference is the cylinder. Mine is a 24 quart, this is a 12 quart. In the 24, I went from a 6 to a 24. Uh, in the 24, the measurement for a batch of ice cream is perfect. It's this. It's one bag, one bladder. So it works out real good. Uh, but because I'm at half, then I'll just use... Right? <laughs> okay. I'll just use, it's the teacher in me. I'll use five quarts of, uh, of mix. Right? Right? Tell him to get off the phone. So, five, what? Oh, five quarts. Since there's no line for five, we'll go between four and six. Brilliant, right? Okay, so that's the mix. Now I don't have a, I usually keep these on file cards with the rep, but I don't know what I'm doing now, so we're gonna wing it. So we'll go with, get in the habit of that. <laughs> of course I've done it the other way where I pour it in, it comes shooting right out. All right, so we'll add this. I don't like that thing. So we'll add five quarts of mix. And uh, what are we making? We're making toasted pineapple. So we'll add this stuff, which is frozen concentrated pineapple juice. Doggy here? Yes. I'll bring it right after she has lunch. 
You don't have to do that on my account. Uh, now, I looked at the shelves over there, and since he promoted it, I picked up Green Mountain uh, Pineapple all natural pineapple stuff. I've never used it, but let's give it a shot, all right? Pine, it says natural pineapple flavor. Shake well. <laughs> and it says starting point usage, three quarters of an ounce per gallon. So figure one ounce, right? All right, one ounce. Looks good to me. <laughs> one ounce. Now, we're going to add the toasty part, which is uh, brown sugar. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Girls, ladies, what is brown sugar? Molasses and sugar, right? Uh, whoops. I guess we'll add the whole bag. Uh, the bag is uh, the bag is one pound, I think. Does anybody have any doubt that this is going to be good? You see what's going into it? It's just good stuff. It's not like we're adding, you know, some ridiculous thing in here, like uh, chicken stock. It's got to be good. Now, the, uh... no, huh? I'll tell you what. Let's taste it first. But I think we're going to be adding the pineapple. We don't have to add a lot of pineapple. It's good. Uh, just a vote. Should we add pineapple? A little. A little. A little. A little. You tell me when. A little more, right? What? So, a little more? Yeah. Okay. This is almost like you're making it. That's enough? Okay. Anybody want more? No. Okay. There you go. Now, we're not going to add any of this pineapple juice, are we? No, because it's mostly water. All right. Let's uh, get it rolling. Fire it up. Okay, we're good. It's going to be good. Good question. She said the Italian ice was three two one which was no the the sherbet was three two one uh, the sherbet is three two one three quarts of water two pounds of sugar one quart of ice cream mix Italian ices is, is uh, three quarts of water two pounds of sugar and flavor uh, it's kind of simple uh, and if you want I'll give you those you can write them down uh, which is a great thing to ask because if you're making a friend of mine owns a cream ice store with Italian ice with the dairy and just like we made before 
And he has 150 flavors up here of cream ice. And it's a wildly popular store, wildly popular. 15, 18 years now already. And uh, it's down in South Florida. And any flavor that you can think of, he's got it in cream ice. It's all he sells. It's all he sells is cream ice. And he makes a ton of money, a ton of money, because he has the uh, eight ounce Dixie cups, the stuff you have in the bathroom, and the 12 ounce Dixie cups. And when you order the, your, your cream ice, it's wop, wop, spoon, money. That's it. Of course, there's no toppings, it's cream ice. So it's wop, wop, doop, spoon, done. And all night long, all night long. Um, and it's 450. So some money there. That cream ice, you're working on about 75% profit. Silly. It's just silly. Uh, no, you had all your questions before. Okay, what is it? Got to have your ingredients and the and the and the nutrition content. Every one. Hmm? Everything. If it's for consumption, you have to do that. Uh, there's a way around it. <laughs> there's a way around it. The way around it is you you pack them as they ask for it. It's not prepackaged. And then they're just getting your product to go. But if you prepackage, you have to have nutritional content and ingredients. You don't need to do that. You're going to be making so much money, you won't have time for prepackaging. For what? You don't have to do it for, the question is, do you have to do it for uh, cart sales, fairs, festivals, stuff like that? No, of course not. Because the idea was, if I had a line of 25 people, are the 25 people going to wait for me? Yes, they will. They will? Yes. Thank you, God. <laughs> okay. What's it, what was the answer? If he's at a festival and he has to scoop all that ice out of the people that are going to stand in line, if he's got a line of 25, will they wait? They will wait. They will wait. Just like in the store, I freak when I see the line getting longer than 15 people, which it does. But I, I always worry, are they going to walk out? You know, no. They're there. They know what you got. They're hanging around. They're there. <laughs> Can I get back to this question? Sure. Right, you know what it's called? It, and you've seen the signs, hand dipped. All right, let's cut the chit chat. The, the, the thing that you'll put up as a sign, hand dipped, which means that when they come and they order a pint of rum raisin, you're not reaching down, giving them a pint goodbye. You're taking the empty container, you're do, the girls are doing it or whatever, putting a top on, and then they go. And we do milkshakes too. And of course, our sign says hand dipped milkshakes. Doesn't make any sense, but they're hand dipped milkshakes. What else would they be? You're not going to dip them with your feet. They're hand dipped milkshakes. But the milkshakes, our milkshakes are 32 ounces, one quart. <laughs> and they're, they're significant. They were good though, weren't they? Mike certainly liked our milkshakes. <laughs> Okay, anything else while I waste time here? Yes, you again? His, his concern was if you're out in the elements in the open air and you're, you're constantly flipping from your car, are you lowering the temperature of the Sure, of course. So that's why the individual container came to mind. Well, they have come up. The question is if you're working from a cart and you're constantly opening it up, does it raise the temperature? Of course it raises the temperature. There are three different methods of keeping that thing cold. They've come up with these, they look like a top hat upside down and your tub fits in it. 
and those keep it cold. Uh, you freeze them prior. They're expensive. They're like $80 a piece. Uh, the other way is they sell these electromagnetic plates that line your cart, and they keep it cold. Uh, nothing is 100%. Steve has a better answer to that than I do. What's Steve, that? selling ices out of a cart, keeping those tubs cold. Of course, there's that top hat thing that the thing fits in, yeah. and there's the plates that the the galvanized steel plates that line them. What else? Uh, dry ice. It's dry ice, probably dry the ice. best way too. Dry yeah, ice, you right? You can control it. You can sure. move the dry ice around. Right. Uh, you can buy a more expensive. I don't have a mic on. Yeah, thanks. Um, you can uh, do a more expensive way. Uh, people make carts that have refrigerated units around them. Uh, usually uh, glycol, you know, antifreeze, and so you freeze down your cart overnight. And um, so it's nice and cold, and then you just put it on your trailer and take it out the next day, and it'll stay cold for many hours. Um, one of the more expensive ones, but the best one on the market, is Nelson. Uh, Nelson Manufacturing, they make a great one uh, that's cold walls, and uh, you just uh, freeze it down the night before and then put your product in there. What are we making? I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's well, uh, I'm in search of my uh, blender. Toasted pineapple ice cream. Oh, yeah. Toasted pineapple. Wow. Uh, and uh, the, you, you know, I have to realize those carts have been around for 80 years. People have been selling at fairs and festivals. So they work if you, if you do it the right way. I wouldn't know how to do it. Uh, but I know that in my class, people have said to me they have both methods. The, the top hat is relatively new, right? The, yes. Those black, uh, you have one somewhere. We have one around here somewhere, and we'll find it uh, eventually. And you freeze those prior? Yes. And you put and it you in? And put they, your tub into right. it. What are you doing? Getting ready to torture you. Oh, you're going to use the whisk or? Yes. What are you making? Uh, this is for the dairy free. Oh. Yes. Uh, who was I talking to before that, that told me that they go down? They go down to minus 10, minus 15. Yeah, that was you, right? At least minus 15 for a cheap freezer. Minus 15. Come on, you know? Minus 20. Mine go down to, I've seen mine at 18, 19. You don't use a, a blast or a... Uh, All at once, do I use a blast freezer? <laughs> oh no, let's not start this again. <laughs> I didn't put them up to that. Did they have lunch and lose their memories? <laughs> Yeah, right. Who wanted real ice cream? You did, right? Real, okay. You'll get it. You'll get real ice cream. Almost, almost. <laughs> Toasted pineapple. Toasted pineapple. Yeah, what could be bad? You saw what went in, can't be bad, right? We have more spoons, right? How would you like a hot and cold water hose reel on the wall here? A hot and cold water what? Hose reel, where you can pull the hose out oh. and fill your machine to spray Of course, and then you, <coughs> you have floor drains, right? Yeah. That's what my friend Evan does. He has two 224s, two mm -hmm. and he has floor drains, and he just uh, hoses them down. Yeah. Opens the door, hoses them down. Yeah, I'm looking to develop it. Really? Boy, that would be great, but you need a floor drain. No. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking more for the barrel, that you have a bucket in front of the barrel, and you can hose down the door, and in the barrel. got a floor drain. Well, if you had the money for it. Okay. That doesn't fit the fifteen thousand uh, dollar. No, it doesn't. Cost. No, it doesn't. 
Oh. Oh. I'd say we're ready. Is that in your way? The, uh, the top thing is there if you want to use it. It's on top. Okay. Okay, we ready? You ready? Should we fluff it? No. No. No fluffing. Fluff it. Fluff it. She, I think she fluffs for five minutes. You ever see a girl fluff for five minutes? Cut that. Careful, Jeff. Jack, you got to cut that. <laughs> yeah, flag the tape. <laughs> We okay. spend a lot of time flagging tapes around here. All right. There it is. Okay, so let's try this. Where the uh, the spoons are? Got it. What? How do you wind up to be first all the time? That's why I'm sitting right here because I'm ready. You know what they're all saying? They're all saying, if this idiot can do that, I can do that. Not hardly. <laughs> That'll be a story. What? Thank you. I'm freeze this down for like 10 hours before you would serve it to customers? Yeah, but you know what? I could serve it like this. Ted Drews comes right out of the machine. Ted Drews is an amazing. Comes straight out of the machine. That's frozen custard, though. It goes right into your cup and then. Yeah. And they make the concretes. Yes. Ted Drews is the finest I've tasted in my whole life. Wouldn't you say so, Steve? I thought our uh, vanilla ice cream the other day was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. As far as it being custard. Yeah. Thank you. What? What? Can I just have, I mean, just a little job. I had heart surgery about five years ago. Eight years ago. Thanks. That's good. Thanks. That's good, isn't it? That's pretty good. Mike? Very creamy. Very creamy. Very Ten. Ten percent butter fat. One ounce of the green green goo. Five quarts. None for you? None for you? Creamy. Ice cream, right? We got ice cream. 